Hello there, today we have Transformers G1 Megatron. And um, this is the first time I've done a gun mode Megatron. And uh, I actually think uh, I did a pretty good job. Uh, dimensions aren't perfect. Like it's supposed to be a two wide gun and you know this is his head sticking out right here. But I decided not to go um, like so hard on myself for you know, leaving his head out in the open since this is my first time making, like I said, a, a gun Megatron. And I still think this is a pretty good uh, representation of that a design. It's back so you can see it, the entire thing. And honestly, that like, where are you going to put the head anyways? This is the best place you could put it. Um, the trigger is kind of, not the trigger, um... The barrel is kind of off center, because, well, actually, is it? Well, it's supposed to be a two wide gun, like so, like sections like these, and this, it's kibble, so, and this, it's kibble, so. The, the sights, or this fusion cannon is, um, is aligned, and... If this is kind of a line, then I guess it is straight, but kind of doesn't look like it. But it is, apparently. So, yeah. And this is uh, supposed to be the trigger section right here. Uh, this is also not like a proportionally accurate Walter P38. But it still looks pretty good. I think it's recognizable at least. And it is, you can kind of comfortably hold it in your hand. But, obviously your finger can't go in the trigger section, but there is a gap right here where you can hold it. So, that's pretty cool. Um, now, comparisons. Here is Megatron with Optimus Prime. I think they look pretty good together. And here he is with this stuff. The gun is about 19 studs long. It doesn't even fit on the measuring stick. And it's about 9 studs tall. And four studs wide, uh, maybe five because of his big head. And then Hasbro stuff. Alright, transformation doesn't count as parts forming. I feel like I've been saying that a lot lately, but it really isn't parts forming. It's his weapon. And also, here he is without it. The first thing you're gonna do is. This is kind of loose that trigger out of the way not trigger the barrel and then yeah just now you move the trigger uh well you move that barrel you're gonna do something with this so swivel that out like so as you can probably tell this becomes his arms just do that on both sides oh there you go and then just swivel it down like that and then push it in swivel down push it in and we're gonna swivel this on the jumper plate all the way up for now just leave it like that then move the shoulders up get clearance that on another jumper plate then there's actually a tabbing mechanism right here you're just gonna untab it right there and then split it like so hopefully it doesn't fall apart That piece will move down like that. That's the leg. Swivel that around. Swivel this on the bar joint. Uh, sorry if I'm being quiet. I'm just focusing on this. It's kind of tedious. It's not really tedious. It's just fragile. So I have to be careful. 
and then swivel on that stud right there and then pull that section down and then it will fold around onto the back of his leg this piece right here will keep it from moving up and then back to the front as you can see that becomes his foot the heel spur moves back same thing on the other side now this is when you put the arms down and you can see the body coming together swivel to the back swivel the head around slide it up a little bit just give him a little bit more height then just fold it up here make sure you have enough clearance there you go And push it back down so that these uh, cheek pieces are like touching on these studs so his neck isn't too high and then yeah finally swivel this ball joints like so and then down and that's his barrel on his back and there you go that is g1 megatron in his robot mode without his cannon so let's just add that just attach that onto his arm like so it doesn't attach to the other arm since it's inaccurate and yeah now here is g1 megatron in his robot mode so his legs i'm just gonna start off talking about his legs they're a little bit inaccurate with the color since it's supposed to be this dark uh, gray color instead of black and um, light gray except um, the light gray is supposed to be down here and this bottom piece is black just to blend in with the, the handle on the gun mode but I don't think it looks that bad and honestly for a very long time I thought his legs were black but apparently in G1 they actually are dark uh, gray and the barrel does appear or end up on his back, but it, it's not like actually attached to his back. It's or so attached to his arm. Uh, not sure if that's accurate. I'm pretty sure it isn't, but on the actual toy it is, I think. And speaking of the original toy, you can, I think you can at least. You can sling it under his arm if you want to. Actually, I don't think you can. Maybe. But I'm not going to try that. Possibly. But that's not something I'm going to do, so I'm not really going to worry about it. So, and wait, one more thing. Um, his back is also kind of hollow. And um, this uh, section right here, uh, it protrudes a little bit. I'm just going to say that. Just because of uh, the shape it has to form in the alternate mode. But yeah, articulation. Start with his head. Uh, out the way. Which can look up. I mean, it can look up. I'm just not going to bother with this since these studs are in the way. But uh, his shoulders are on uh, universal joints. Move out that far. I'm moving that far. Um, I'm going to do a full uh, 360. Is it a 360? 180? I don't know. But elbow joint, although the elbow is a little bit low. Doesn't look that bad though. And at least he does have an elbow. Um, you can swivel back and forth if you want to do that. And kind of has like a chest swivel. It's not really a waist swivel, it's, more, yeah, it's like a chest swivel. And it actually has an ab crunch due to transformation, so that's really good. You can get him into some looking down poses, um, very awkwardly though. Uh, nothing going back. 
Um, I guess this piece is articulated on a ball joint. But aside from that, uh, his legs actually kick up pretty far. That far. Uh, back even farther. And um, just due to the way how his hips are built, he doesn't have an outward kick. So that's really the farthest it goes. It's kind of pathetic, but just due to the way how he has to transform. And uh, yeah, that's just how it has to be. Um, thigh swivel. Well, there's an inward too, but yeah, there is a thigh swivel. A knee bend goes uh, past 90 pretty far. And um, shin break, you want to do that for some reason. And his foot, wow, just started falling apart like it was iron hard and dark of the moon. But anyways, the last bit of articulation, his foot can move down like that. Uh, not gonna get much use out of that though video is getting long so I'm gonna speed run obviously his gun mode is out of scale so I built a mini Walter P38 is it Walter or Walter it doesn't matter uh, just simply plugs into his hand like this um, doesn't make sense that he's holding himself though so I'm not sure if um, it's gonna be able to connect to my other figures because they might not have the same hands but yeah and one more accessory he has is his mace. Um, I didn't put too much effort into this. Kind of just exists. You can hold it like that. You can swing. Um, his uh, his arm isn't gonna hold up because of how heavy it is. But as a swivel, geez, it's really tight. Up, down, side to side ball joints, and swivel. I'm pretty sure he had a sword too. Honestly, I forgot to build that. So, he just doesn't have it. He is 15 and a half studs, maybe like 15 and one third studs tall. Here he is with this stuff. Now here he is with my Lego stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Right after I show you this head-to-head -head comparison. I think... Uh, Megatron is supposed to be the same height as G1 Optimus, but uh, every time I did make them the same height, every time I put them next to each other, Megatron looked shorter. And, um, I mean, I, I still like, um, uh, this scale because I like Megatron to be, uh, taller than Optimus, but, yeah, it's not too far off, but, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.